All right, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Yahweh Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Craven Stone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in all sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahayar from the James Kingston, Jamaica camp, here once again with a quick listen. Beware of the smooth speaking prophets. Beware of these prophets who are always speaking things that are of peace, things that are not in alignment with the scriptures or with the prophecies of the Heavenly Father that is written in the book, right? Because the scripture tells you that there is a time for everything under the sun. Book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Right now we are living in the time to break down. Break down this current society and to build up the kingdom. Right? The kingdom of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Understand? Because here we have no continuing city, but we seek it one to come. This current society is going down. So when you hear these men come forth professing that better days are coming, right? Better days are coming, a time of prosperity in this society. That's a lie because it's not in alignment with the scriptures, with what the scriptures have said. Understand? Scripture in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13. What does it say? Alright, my starter. My starter verse 1. It says, Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, hear ye the word of the Lord. Right? So that's what I'm doing right now. Understand, there are prophets out there, there are men out there. The word prophets pretty much means to say before, right? There are men out there are saying things that are going to happen that are not of what the Heavenly Father said, right? So therefore, what I am doing right now is I am saying to them, those men, right? Says, as the scriptures say, hear ye the word of the Lord. You understand? So they have to hear the word of the Lord, man. This is the word of the Lord. What I'm saying, no, because I'm reading from the book. Everything I'm saying is not of my own mind, but it's of what the, the Heavenly Father has written. That is what I am promoting. You understand? And that is what I'm trying to show um, individuals that are, that are willing to listen what the scripture says, man. All right? It says, verse 3, Thus said the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets, that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. So a bad time is coming unto these men, right? That are telling the people that smooth things are going to happen, peaceful things are going to happen, right? Verse 4, O Israel, thine prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the edges, neither made up the hedge of the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of of the Lord, right? So you have the crypto dollars, the TDGX, the government officials, right? These men are painting a forecast that is not in alignment with the scriptures. That is not true. The forecast that the scripture has spoken about is bad times. You understand? Wars, right? Famine, evils, pestilence, um, Increases in abomination. That is the forecast that the scriptures has referred to in relation to this earth. Right? That's what the scripture said. This earth must be destroyed. That the good which is sown um, shall should come up. Right? Verse 6. It says, They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord said, And the Lord had not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word have you not seen a vain vision and have you not spoken a lying divination 
whereas he say, The Lord said it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore thus said the Lord God, Because ye have spoken vanity, and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against you, said the Lord God. So all of these prophets that is seeing vanity and is speaking lies, the heavenly Father is against them, right? Because they are not, as the scripture just mentioned, man, is in, it says, ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge of the house of Israel. They are not making up the hedge of the house of Israel. They are not telling the people what is going to happen, depending on destruction, the sedition amongst men. They are not warning people to be prepared to hide themselves in this world, right? To seek protection from the Heavenly Father, right? To gain and acquire this wisdom and knowledge. Because the scripture tell you in Isaiah 33 verse 6 that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the fear of the Lord thy treasure, right? They are not telling the prophets, the false prophets are not telling the people to store up the fear of the Lord, men. Right? So, so, that's why the scripture says, Woe unto these false prophets. Right? Going back down where I was. It says, verse 9, it says, And mine hand shall be upon the, upon the prophets that see vanity, and that, and that divine lies. They shall not see, not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written, in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord God, because even because they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there was no peace, and one built up a wall, and lo, others dubbed it with untempered mortar. Right? There is no peace. They have seduced the people, saying there is going to be peace. Who has done that, right? The government officials, right? And Joel is come forward and says there is going to be um, a prosperity plan. Up till now, there isn't no prosperity plan because the wicked elite's plan and agenda is to bring the society down so that they may establish their NWO, right? So there is going to be no peace, man, right? A part of the wicked elite's our motto is order of chaos. Zin, order through chaos. That's what that's 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 part of their agenda. They're going to cause chaos that they may establish their own order and best believe that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the true biblical Israelites, are not part of the order that they are trying to establish. That's why, according to the Georgia Guidestone. They want to bring down the earth's population to 500 million. You understand? So a lot of people are not going to be a part of the order that they are trying to establish. So when they are speaking peace, right? They are talking about peace in your grave. They are planning to kill you. Right? That's why they, they, they promote this um, serpent juice. Yo. And we can see the results of those serpent juice. And we see the research coming out talking about the impacts of that serpent juice, yo, right? So it says, Say unto them which have dubbed it with a tempered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and he, O great hailstones, and ho, O great hailstones, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rent it, right? A stormy wind shall rent it, man, right? You can see that the lies that they are promoting is being brought down. The truth is coming forth, man. These men are being known because the truth is being professed and declare and declaring the error of their ways, men. Right? So the judge the judgment is following soon, yo. The judgment is following soon. Jumping from there to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter sorry, not Isaiah. Jeremiah chapter 14. Right? Around verse 9. Right? Verse 9. Uh. All right, let's start at verse 11. It says, Then say the Lord unto me, Pray not for these people, for they are good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. 
and when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Then said I, Hey, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you a short peace in this place. Right? Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. They are prophesying lies, man. Surely famine is coming upon the earth. Sword, sh sh surely the sword, which is the term of nuclear missiles, is coming upon the earth, man. See, in the scriptures talk about a destroying wind. What do you think that is talking about, man? Right? Those are the times that are coming. The Bible is professing evil. Right? Prophesying of an evil time upon the earth. Right? It says, I sent them not, neither have I con commanded them, neither speak unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Right? The deceit of their own minds. That's what they are doing. Right? Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name. And said, I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Right? So by sword and pro famine shall those prophets be consumed, men. Because that is what's been um is written in the book. See in the scripture telling in Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 9 says, And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. That is what's been that is what has been written in the book. Right? Lamentations, mourning, and woe. There's going to be chaos upon the earth, man. Zeme, there's going to be evils upon the earth like you have never seen before. The times that are brewing right now aren't going to be pleasant times in which you can have relaxation and peace of mind. Zeme, you're going to fear for your life, day in and out, right? Your children are going to be taken. Men are going to be eaten. Cannibalism in the street, that's the time that is coming. So the prophets that are not saying these words, right, and talking about these things, those prophets are false prophets. The only way out is to seek unto Yahweh, but Hashem Yahushai. Zeme, wait ye upon the Lord until he rise up to the prey, right? Wait ye upon the Lord until he comes to give you salvation. That is the only way out. You can't depend upon the so-called white man, you. Zeme, because his agenda is to destroy you. The only one... That can save you in times to come is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? So, with that, I hope that this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to say Kalalal Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and prophets, elders and apostles of Great in the Stone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this word in all sincerity and in truth. Shalom.